Recent advances in lung cancer research mean that you and your doctor have new tools to help decide which treatments are most appropriate for you. When you were told you had lung cancer, you probably had many questions, such as, what steps should I take next? Until recently, doctors had only three options for treating lung cancer, surgery, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy. Today, some patients are eligible for new kinds of treatments, known as targeted therapies, which attack specific targets on or within tumor cells that affect tumor growth. In order to know if you are a candidate for specific targeted therapies, your doctor may order a special test of your tumor, called a molecular test. To understand the role and importance of molecular testing, let's start with some basics about lung cancer first. Your tumor started because of specific changes to some cells within your lungs that cause those cells to lose control over how they grow and divide. Each cell in our body contains genetic material, or molecules known as DNA, which contain instructions for making all the proteins our cells need. Proteins control many of the cell's functions. Sometimes DNA can undergo changes that result in permanent damage. These changes are called genetic mutations or alterations, and they can affect the proteins that are responsible for normal cell growth and division. The genetic mutations in lung cancer are only present in the tumor and are not thought to be inherited or passed from one generation to the next. Different tumors can be affected by different changes. It's important to know which changes your tumor has because some of these changes may be linked to how you will respond to therapy. To find out what genetic changes are present in your tumor, a special doctor called a pathologist must conduct a molecular test of your tumor. What is molecular testing? When you were diagnosed with lung cancer, a sample of your tumor had to be examined to learn where in the body it started and what type of cancer it is. Today, doctors can perform additional testing this testing is referred to as molecular testing. Your doctor may also call these tests biomarker testing or mutation testing. All of these terms refer to tests that look for changes in the tumor. Currently, molecular testing can identify changes in the DNA makeup of the tumor or measure levels of specific proteins present in the tumor. In any tumor, many different changes are possible and not every person's tumor will have the same changes. Why is molecular testing important? It's important to identify whether or not your lung cancer has specific changes, because this knowledge can help you and your doctor come up with an individual treatment plan that is right for you. How does molecular testing work? Molecular testing starts with your doctor taking a sample, or biopsy, of your tumor. If molecular testing wasn't done on the initial biopsy that determine your type of cancer, your doctor can ask to have the tissue re-examined or a second biopsy may be needed. These tests will show whether or not your tumor has any currently known changes. Test results are usually ready within one to three weeks after the biopsy. What will the results of molecular testing mean for your treatment? Based on results of molecular testing on your tumor, your doctor will develop specific treatment recommendations for you. If available therapies are not an option based on your results, you may qualify for a clinical trial testing treatments targeting the specific changes within your tumor. To find a clinical trial, speak with your doctor or go to clinicaltrials.gov. Even if your tumor does not have known characteristics that can be matched to a targeted therapy, Molecular testing can still help you and your doctor decide on the most appropriate treatment for your cancer. Knowledge is power. Power to make informed decisions about your care. Talk with your doctor to see if molecular tumor testing is right for you. If your doctor doesn't recommend molecular testing and you still have questions, consider getting a second opinion. To learn more about lung cancer and molecular testing, go to these websites.